my name is Sasha Harford. I'm 38 years old. I'm originally from Kingston, Jamaica. I grew up in South Florida. I came to America when I was about 12 years old. I went to middle school and high school there. I accelerated quite a bit in the arts. I mean, I loved history and some science, but for me, the arts was it. From drawing, painting, sculpting, to music, vocal ensemble, I especially love vocals. It was one of my most favorite things to do. Um, at that point, towards the end of high school, I decided to apply to a few art colleges. It was the best next thing. I just decided that was it. I'm going to do it. So I was in South Florida, and I said, I really don't want to be here. It's not my kind of place. I had family in, in New York. So um, after getting into Parsons, which I was extremely excited about and proud of, I'd worked so hard, and I got into Parsons. I finally went, and then um, I was really distracted. The city is wild. It's like constant, and it was bombarding in my face. I came here, I hung out a little bit, I went to a few nightclubs, I worked in the nightclub, I waitressed, I also was at school, and at that point I was scouted as a model, um, so I decided, let me give it a go. I gave college a little bit of a break, and I decided to see what modeling was like. I first was with Next Modeling Agency, when they were a very itty bitty small agency, very small. Uh, not what they are now. I gave it a go for about four years with a couple other agencies as well. I went to London and traveled and worked with makeup and hair people who showed me that what that was like, really. I thought it was pretty cool um, what they did, but I still wasn't quite involved in it yet. I was very young. I was in my early 20s. Then I had an ex-boyfriend who suggested because he had a friend who got into makeup and hair. Why don't you do that? You're a great I see what you do, I see you do a great job, why don't you try it out? So I decided to apply to some retail companies like Bendel's for Bobby Brown and Stila and I, I worked with several companies over the years. I worked with Barney's for NARS and Makeup Forever, I worked at Bendel's for Bobby Brown and Benefit, I worked with uh, Lil Rock at uh, Henry Bendel. So I worked with everyone. I, I learned a lot about different lines and different skin textures and it was, it was pretty cool because I could find out what line had the right pink or the right brown or the right yellow for each person um, and each line and what they had for each person uh, and for myself, what I love the best, brushes and everything. I also attended cosmetology school in general to get involved with hair. I went to Carson uh, Institute, which is in Union Square, which was a great experience. I had a great, it was tough. Yes, it was tough, but it was a great experience for me. I thought of it as a really great um, growing ground, um, learning color cuts, um, working with clients, and salon work is definitely hard work, <laughs> definitely great work, but hard work. So I honed my art, and I got my book together, and my book became my calling card, and I got an agent who started really pushing me gave me a wonderful 10 years of work, um, I would say, or more, because I've been doing this for about maybe 15 years, and I, I loved it. It was a great experience. He opened doors for me that I never could have opened my own. I met amazing people. I worked with Joss Stone for three years. I did a Lionel Richie shoot. I, did all, I traveled to different places. One of my most favorite experiences, I would say, is going to Morocco, working with um, the princess there, Princess Lala Miriam. And I guess Lala, I believe, if I can remember, is the uh, Moroccan word for princess. <laughs> so my most favorite thing about this business is meeting new people and using color and, and shape and texture, and uh, whether it be with texture in the hair and molding and forming from fine to thick to using products that work, all the different products out there now. There's this, you can be so ultimately creative, but just making sure you're using the right one for the right person with the right hair piece, as well as, as with makeup. Makeup is incredible. Uh, even if it's simple, it's fun. Even if you're, you, the creativity is in the simplicity, that is also a great time. And working with amazing teams. So if you have the right photographer, stylist, or hair or makeup artist with you, it can be an incredible experience or model for that and art director because an art director can really 
make everything cohesive. So that's some of my most favorite things. And the flexibility in my business can make it exciting too because you know, you can't have your days off, although it's difficult to plan sometimes ahead because people can call you overnight and say, what are you doing? Which can be fun in the surprise, but a lot to do when you have to hustle and get yourself there and be ready to go. Um, so those are my favorite things. My least favorite things is also the unpredictable um, aspect of my business. I would say because it's so like, Tomorrow you're doing this, and next week you're doing that, and maybe you're not doing anything for a couple days. That can be difficult. Um, so both parts of it I love and don't love. So for me, that and if I'm working with someone who doesn't understand, I'm there to help them and, and be there for them. I'm supportive in the way I do pretty much everything. I'm here to bring the best out of you and to work with a great team. And if things aren't locking in, everybody's kind of on a different end or there's an ego tension or there's a conflict of interest in the in the creative aspect, that can be very challenging, um, especially if two people are directing me at once. I've had that experience. So much fun. <laughs> and they have different ideas. I love that. <laughs> so that's probably the least favorite things I like about the business. And I'd have to say the most insane experiences and interesting experiences I've ever had in this business is working with um, people like Drew Barrymore. I was in her closet, which is insane. It's like clothing here, there, jewelry. It's as big as a New York apartment, okay, for 3400 That's what they cost now, according to New York One. Uh, it's enormous, and it has jewelry, and it's beautiful, and she has gorgeous chairs, and her it's just amazing. It was a really cool thing to see, and I would say working um, with the crew of Jackass. They're nuts. <laughs> I, I think that's probably top on my funny, crazy, nuts. Uh, I want to laugh, but I might be feeling like I'm being disturbing if I laugh. So at that point... I was in the in the photo shoot um, working with the whole crew, uh, and Steve-O had a, a firecracker in his mouth, and then it exploded, and then he threw up, and he did it again. <laughs> he made his old business out of being crazy, and I guess that's what works at times. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little walk down uh, my career lane. I do love what I do, and I hope to tell you more about what I do, and I hope to continue creating in my career and having the best time while I'm doing it. Thank you.